I mean, I'm not gonna go out and just like buy a whole new wardrobe, or am I? Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be about my best fashion hacks, like sort of like the life-changing little tips and tricks that will help you look uh, more like put together and will help you style every day kind of like a bit more efficiently, faster. I guess I have a little... I would say like I have a little list of things that I have learned throughout the years specifically during all of the seasons that I've done fashion month and fashion weeks because sometimes when I'm out changing many times a day things can happen, things can go wrong, things can look bad and I kind of learned like little things that really really make everything so much easier so I wanted to share these tips with you because I get so many questions from like how do you not get uh, foundation stains on your sweater to how to like make this process easier or shorter or quicker I just wanted to share all of my best tips with you guys before I start I wanted to say <sighs> Before I start, I wanted to suggest that if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to it because I do publish two videos a week. Uh, there's one on Wednesday and one on Sunday. And if you do click on that bell button next to the subscribe, you will be receiving notifications for all of my new videos so that you can stay up to date to all of my content. So now let's start. Okay, so fashion hack number one is something that whenever people around me see, they always say like, Tamara, you have to share this with your audience. This is like something that we've never seen before and I decided to finally share this with you. So when I travel, I already suffer with overweight in my suitcase or like I, I just about now don't anymore because I'm like better and better at packing but I do not bring an iron or a steamer because they're usually quite bulky and they take up space, they take up weight, they are often not even used or like useful on the trips because sometimes I don't even have time to be doing all the like steaming or ironing. So a trick that I have learned over the years is that now when I get dressed and I can see that something is a bit like wrinkled, I would use a hair dryer. Now sometimes this can get quite hot if you're already dressed and you're like trying to kind of like straighten something on your body. So very often I would hang it on a hanger obviously, I put it in a bathroom or on a wardrobe and then I would just use a hair dryer over the wrinkles and the heat and the steam will help straighten the item. Honestly the items will would improve so much and you would look so much more put together after just using the simple trick. What's even better is that pretty much every hotel that I have ever stayed at has a hair dryer and if like a hotel doesn't usually like a friend does or someone else has a hair dryer because it's like a multi purpose device it's not like an iron that you can only use for your clothes you know what I mean this is my trick number one however I would like to add many of you have also suggested especially with linen things like linen dresses linen trousers so this credit goes to one of you guys to hang a piece on a hanger in the bathroom while having shower especially for me because I, I love extra hot showers basically like once I'm done with my shower the bathroom is like you cannot even do your makeup in the mirror because it's so steamed up. So if you leave the item that's all wrinkled in the bathroom while having shower, it would relax and it would be really, really nice and polished. However, I do have to say that if it was me, I only decide what I'm gonna wear like last minute. So the hair dryer system works a little bit better because I'm already dressed and I'm like, oh, this doesn't work. And it's already late to go into the shower. One other tip. Next tip that most of my friends say is the best tip that they have ever had is sometimes when I'm in a rush getting ready, um, doing my makeup, doing my mascara, I end up having a little bit of mascara on my nose or just over here. The moment that that happens, I'm like, I've got my foundation already done, I've got my face, everything is ready. Mascara is the final step. Sometimes just before my lipstick, but sometimes it's like literally the final step. And then I'm like, oh, can't believe this only happens to me but the trick is just to wait you have to wait for mascara to dry off and the moment it dries off it just gets wiped off so easily you will have no problem you will have no transfer and it will not smudge it will not stain it will not create any problem the whole point of this is that it dries and then it just flakes off rather than actually smudging your foundation leaving marks getting the drag across your skin or whatever so just wait 
white and then take a q-tip easily remove it my next tip and probably quite a few next tips actually Im involve a hair tie I think like hair ties are just the best thing out there and very frequently I would use those like rubber bands rubber bands are amazing if you can get your hands on like I don't know how it is with you guys but back home in Serbia we would have them in kitchen because our grandmothers and mothers sometimes close the jars with them but that's like another topic hair ties are best thing in the world because they will always be necessary and I don't know if I'm the only one but I often tend to lose them so make sure to have quite a few always in your bag because you never know when you might need one. The first thing that I can solve with a hair tie would be a blazer that keeps slouching down. Now you've seen me, I've done it before, before I have discovered this trick. To stop sleeves from running down you can use a hair tie just by sliding a hair tie over a sleeve and then kind of like concealing it by slouching it a little bit more. This will help keep everything in place and I think like the most important thing is obviously not to use a hair tie which is too tight because you don't want to like you know like stop your circulation and blood from going and you also don't want to feel uncomfortable the whole night just to look good but you need like a medium hold tie like kind of you know the ones that are going to be approximately the size of your wrist or your like you know where you want to keep your blazer anyway so this is a very very easy thing you just need two hair ties and your blazer will stay put together a whole night not just that you can use it for a blazer but you can also use it for a coat for a shirt or any other piece of clothing where you want to keep sleeves in a particular place. Next thing that you can solve with a hair tie would be a zip rolling down. Now I've discovered this, I remember I was like 14 or 15 and a friend of mine from high school showed me this trick. It was like Eureka. For me this was like the biggest discovery ever and 15 years later I'm still using the trick. So. It's for the jeans that you love, that you wear, that you cannot live without, skirts, trousers, whatever it is. But the zip is just not fully closing. You know like sometimes you close the zip and there's just like two millimeters left and it still looks like it's a little bit open. Or it's just a zip that keeps running down. It just keeps going down. You know like the gravity is pulling it down, is pulling it down and you're like, I don't know what's happening. The trousers are not tight. There's nothing wrong with a zip yet it keeps running down why so i have a great trick for this all you need to do is close the zip then use the hole on the zip to pull through a hair tie tight around the button while it's still open and then once you button it over no one's going to be able to see that there are any problems with your zip the only thing that it's you're going to be able to see is that the zip is pointing upwards which is actually great for uh, those cases when the zip is just like two millimeters open you know unnecessarily but if it just doesn't go all the way up this will really like create a complete like optical illusion of fully closed zip this one saved me many many times in fact I had some of the jeans that just cannot keep like closed but with this trick it was solved next jeans tip that I have to share with you is when you have jeans a little bit too big now I don't know how long you've been following me and if you knew this but last year I lost 10 kilos and all of a sudden I had this full wardrobe of clothes that were a little bit too big it was okay for the tops it was okay for the dresses but like jeans were just not okay all of a sudden everything was like a little bit too big and I mean I'm not gonna go out and just like buy a whole new wardrobe or am I so I kind of like discovered a little trick that was keeping everything tighter. Now if you, when you put your jeans on, if you pull the button of your jeans through the little hook for the belt, you will basically gain approximately 2-3 centimeters extra which will keep the jeans tighter when you close it up. I know that this is not the ideal case scenario, I know that this is not like oh my god like all of a sudden you got new jeans definitely you should retailer them but this does help it helps especially in winter months when you don't really need like no one's really gonna see that area and if you don't feel comfortable that people can see that you can just put a belt over it and no one's gonna be able to tell a thing. What more I've noticed is that if you do this you get jeans that are tighter around like the waist area but they look a bit more snatched and like better on your rare parts of the body. Most frequently asked question is Tamara how do you not get foundation on your clothing and I honestly don't get foundation on my clothes. The only time that I would get some foundation transfer is if I would touch my face too much and then I would put my hands 
on my clothes which i don't really do and i always keep wet wipes in my bag but that's not the topic of today's video however uh one trick when getting dressed is what i've learned when i was trying on my prom dresses i was trying on all of these like prom dresses when i was 14 and the lady like in the boutique told me that when i'm trying these like expensive dresses i need to put on a shower cap or a scarf over my head scarf is a great option because everybody has like a scarf any kind of silk scarf that you can put on your head and then put on it over and just remove the scarf this will make sure that there is no foundation transfer and furthermore your hair will be intact because there's no static especially when you're putting on like sweaters and things like that that create a lot of static in the hair this really really helps however sometimes i'm quite annoyed with the scarves and like keeping them on etc that i would actually put a shower cap over my face I just basically do that because that like kind of makes it a lot easier for me to control where the, the thing on my face is and on my head is and then I just put a, a sweater over it and everything is so much easier another frequently asked question is how do you tuck a knit in your jeans or in your trousers so that they don't really show there are a few tricks for this so first trick would be to tuck the knit into your bra so if you tuck or a crop top or any kind of top like a sports bra whatever you want you know you can specifically wear a sports bra just so that you're able to um, tuck a knit inside of it so if you tuck it upwards you're not going to create any kind of like bulky areas around your hips or around your waist area because the knit is basically being tucked under it and it's just going to stay like that whole day looking very neat looking really really attractive and beautiful another tip would be to put a belt if you don't like wearing a bra because some of us don't you can actually just put a belt uh, at the bottom part of your knit and kind of fold it over that the belt will hold everything in you will look fine and there will not be any kind of weird wrinkles and bumps around the hip area next step is sort of similar not quite it's when you need to tuck in something into your trousers but you still don't want the trousers to show you can wear uh, cycling shorts underneath for example or um, you can just make you can use your tights like the normal kind of like tights and cut off the sock part for example using the top bit only and tuck a t-shirt or whatever you want to tuck in into the cycling shorts or into the tights the cycling shorts or the tights will keep everything tight and sort of like really invisible when it comes to kind of like outer appearance so you will look very put together and no one will be able to tell next tip is about kind of like a belt that is too big that goes around your waist or whatever i very often like to wear belts around my waist and sometimes I have to use them on like a last hole which means that the belt itself is just like going around my body for a little bit longer than I would need it to. It can look a little bit messy because the like flappy thing is just standing there or like hanging there or then I don't have any more like any more places to pull it through. So what I use in this situation is again a little hair tie or an elastic in these instances you need those really really tight ones like the tiny little silicone hair bands you need to just like push it through the belt and then when you get to the end of uh, where you can pull the belt through you just pull it at the very end through your elastic which will keep it in place and it's pretty invisible so no one is going to know You'll probably notice that the elastic that I'm using is not the right color. I did not have black one at home, but usually I would use black. Also, this belt clearly does not need it, but this is just an example to what trick you can use in case you need to fix this problem. Next trick that I really want to talk to you about is not really a trick it's common sense but it's something that a lot of people tend to forget about i'm talking about handbag organizers now i never used to use any kind of handbag organizers because mm, i'm just messy and also i'm so used to always searching through things in my bag that i always thought like who cares i don't really need an organizer i mean i'm forever going to be searching for something until for my 30th birthday i received a handbag organizer from my friend and i was like wow this is actually really crazy how organized my handbag can be i can have a slot for my earpods slot for my cards slot for cash slot for passport slot for sunglasses a slot for everything and i thought like i don't know if this is a great tip because you know 
it's quite hard maybe to buy an organizer they can be expensive so i did a research and i found really inexpensive handbag organizers on amazon you can get so many different sizes you can get organizers which even have like a cup holder or like a key a thing where you can like attach your keys like i'm always searching for my keys you guys you don't even understand i'm constantly outside of my house or searching and digging and then like i put a bag on the floor and i hate myself for putting the bag on the floor but i just can't see anything in there until i got my handbag organizers now i got so many and they just like i just changed them up not so many but i have like three or four and i wouldn't even sometimes change a whole handbag when i'm wearing a new handbag i just take out the whole organizer and just put it in a different bag which makes my life a lot simpler because not only that everything is organized but I'm not really changing up a whole bag every time that I'm changing my bags. I just take an organizer tray out and I put it in a different bag. And last but not the least, I learned this trick online and it's how to make your socks shorter when you are wearing those kind of like sneakers. Now this whole summer, I had a bit of a socks shortage. I packed enough socks, like I was away for three weeks. I packed enough socks, but they were not all white and short. So when I ran out of short white socks, I was like, what am I going to do now? Like sock shopping? I don't know, but I wanted to wear my sneakers, my trainers, my Dior ones that I wear all the time, but I ran out of socks and I didn't have means of washing them. So I had these like longer white socks and I basically learned this technique, how you can make longer socks shorter so that they fit in sneakers and they don't show and they don't feel uncomfortable and basically this is what you need to do once you put a sock on then you roll it down over your toes back to your heel and that way you create this kind of like shorter sock which is perfect for sneakers those were my 10 hacks for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite hack and also share with me if you have any other ones to share with me like you did the one with the shower and the linen trousers because i think that's what our community should be about we should share tips with one another and that way we can just all grow together thank you for watching and i'll see you soon Bye, guys.